Hello everyone, welcome back into another Genshin Impact video. Today we'll have a look at Ayaka's talents at level 10, since I finally managed to get all the books for her talents to be level 10. And yeah, they're already level 9, so it's gonna take just one level. So let's just start leveling those up. And there we go. Normal talents, level 10. Elemental skill, level 10. And finally, her burst level 10. Oh yeah, this is my second character that has both talents level 10. First one being Xiao, because I love Xiao. Uh, yeah, let's see Ayaka with the Misspeed Reforge. These artifacts, I said they did not have a full Blizzard Strayer set yet. I'm working on it. Those are the stats for my artifacts, Constellation 0 and talents level 10. And before starting, I want to talk about the teams I'm going to use in this video, and that's going to be this one, which is basically just a big burst team, with Mona that debuffs enemies, Shinner that buffs Ayaka a lot with her elemental skill and her elemental burst, and then we have Bennett that also increases our attack by a lot. Another team that I'm going to use is this one, where I swap out Mona for Kazuha, since he's using the Freedom Sworn Sword that increases my normal attacks and my attack by a lot, and he also just the buffs enemies by using the various barrier set and also because he can increase my cryo damage by a lot and finally for the last variation of this team i'm going to use kokomi instead of bennett that way i can freeze enemies and also give ayakas the buffs that trillion tales of dragon slayers provide which basically means 48 percent more attack and the first test subject for this time is gonna be the paracube that way i can get some melts on my burst let's see what happens let's get rid of his shield first which is gonna be a bit annoying so i am uh, terrible at dodging today apparently okay i need to dodge that and then i can do whatever i want come on there we go uh okay so let's do e burns bennett burns mona burns and go ayaka go what? Uh, well, that was quite fast. Okay, <laughs> let's let's do another boss. All right, and the next boss is gonna be the Perpetual Mechanical Array. Cause well, I had to farm this boss for Ayaka, so I guess it's about time for her to take revenge on this guy. I'm also not gonna deal a lot of damage now, cause I wanna deal the most amount of damage at the end, just to see how much damage I can do. Uh, so I have to wait a bit, let him do his whatever attacks while I dodge everything. So... Oh, it's in the laser. Run, Bennett, run! Okay, so now I should do the face. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Oh, here's the one I need to kill. And it's the snake, because it's the one I hate the most, because he does the death attack. Exactly that attack. There we go. That was quite easy. So let's go. Shinha burst. Gonna E. Kazuo Yen burst. Bennett burst. And. Go Ayaka. That was so much damage. <laughs> My E did like almost 100k. That was so much damage. Okay, well. Moving on to the next one, I guess. Nice. <laughs> and here we are, the layer of the rock boy. Also, he's always sleeping, so I have to wake him up once again. Hello, I have many talents. I'm gonna test my normal attacks as well, if you don't die, I can one burst as well. Let's do all the buffs. Ban at burst, and E, why not? And. Well, I guess it's gonna die easily now as well. So that's uh, that's a lot of damage from my normal attacks, by the way. Yeah, he, he dodged the burst, but he didn't last that long either. So I also want to test my normal and charge attacks, because those are, well, things that I haven't tested yet. So... Hi, Big Gilchur. I know you're just vibing, but you wanna, you wanna fight, maybe? Yes. Yes? Yeah, sure. Let's fight then. Okay. 
Okay, let's get rid of his uh, Electro Shield uh, without being electrocuted to that. Also, let me take this so I become immune to Electro Charge actions. Alright, and there we go. Come on. There we go, now I can freeze you. So that's how much damage I'm dealing without any huge buffs. That's my E. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit more damage than I was doing before. So nothing crazy, but of course with Shinha buffs and Kata buffs, everything goes nutty. So let's that's with those ones now. And of course we need to fight Masanori now. Because well he's the best guy. He really wants to fight and he's very happy to do that as well, so time to fight Mazanori. Five minutes. I get some buffs going. My burst. My E and my burst. Also, I think at night he's even stronger than he usually is. So that might be better. Never mind. He just uh well that was his first phase, so there we go. Now let's go with my E, my E as well here. That takes the dash of Bennett, of course. And let's go with my E again and see some charge attacks in action. Okay. Now let's use all the buffs now. Let's see how much it changes. Well, that's. that's. that is. sorry, what? <laughs> uh. I. Um, Masanori, you need more health, my guy. Uh, that was... That was... Pathetic. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> let's go do some abyss, maybe that's better. I just hope that this is gonna be harder. We'll see. And no, let's do a new one. And now I will use the freeze team. And I'm only going to choose the cars that are, well, not damaged, so I can see what the damage I'm doing is without any buffs. Well, I'll see you guys in second health. And here we are in second health, so let's wait for the two ring guards to get closer. E burst. E and burst. And freeze. And goodbye. See you guys. There we go. That was the easiest chamber I've ever done in my life, moving on. And apparently another healing effect in this card, so let's go with that. And here we are, back with Ayaka. So I'll try and freeze the enemies as soon as possible. So I'm gonna do this. And drop them up, use my evil Kokomi. And Shinha burst, and Ayaka burst. That's enough probably to kill all of them without any big troubles, yeah. Let's unfreeze them. Okay, let um, me use my burst here so I frame something. Use my burst with Kazuha, my E with Kazuha, so we everything I can. Ouch. Let's freeze that annoying guy. Use my burst again. Or whenever he comes inside, I can freeze him once more. Or maybe I'll just go and do that myself, since he's annoying. Okay, let's put jellyfish down, so I can heal a bit. And freeze the guy to that. There we go. Well, that was also very easy, so freeze team for the win. Chamber 3, here I come. And finally, for last chamber, I guess just restoring HP to my characters, that's gonna be it. So yeah, once more, I'll see you guys in second half. Final chamber. Okay, so this is the one with the two Hydro guys, so shouldn't be a problem. But Kogumi will kind of be useless, we'll see. Maybe for like the first few seconds she might be actually good. I can do this and freeze them. Use my burst. And perma freeze them. There we go. Yeah. Go with that. I think that's enough damage to complete and actually destroy them. This is my Shenha burst as well. Get some energy back for my Ayaka. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I guess they are dead. I mean, one is, for sure. 
Uh, the other one kinda escaped, but whatever. Goodbye, my guy. That was the easiest abyss I've ever done. I, I, okay. Well, guys, what can I say? Ayaka is just amazing. I just had so much fun playing this character, testing her talents out. Also, exploring with her is quite fun because she has, uh, well, lots of damage, so you can kill whatever you want. She is cryo, so you, that means you can do this and stay on water for a bit if you need to go like across a river or something. You can freeze enemies, which is the best crowd control in the game, of course. And that applies to a lot of overworld enemies. I just love her animations, her attack moveset, her charge attacks. I, I, I literally have no words on how good this character actually is. I am super glad I finally got her, and well, since there's uh, a bit of time left, so if you're still trying to pull for Ayaka, well, just don't be too worried, there's gonna be a lot of time, like in the event tab, the time remaining is 236 days, so do not worry, there's gonna be plenty of time. So yeah, that was Ayaka Triple Crown, I will say she's quite worth Triple Crowning, since everything in her kit is useful. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see some more Genshin Impact. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. With frogs, cold night and the winter hot gold. Sorry that I fall away sometimes. Sorry that I fall away sometimes. Yeah, yeah. The end. Got to end it all on the weekend. Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Sorry that I feel that way sometimes